Sometimes I don't realize that I need to plan ahead when I'm putting my pings together like in their propagation trays after they've propagated because sometimes size does matter. Now let me give you uh, an example and this is what I'm going to do today and I'll show you how I need to repot a decent amount of my pings that I planted in my propagation tray. So this is kind of like double work. I did not uh, plan ahead. So let me first show you. This is the plant right here. This is the plant that I've propagated. It's a hua hua pan gigantia, as you can tell, based on like the size of my hand, it's a very large uh, species of uh, pinguicula. Well, same with their babies. You know, every time that you uh, propagate it, they do start off very, very small, but then over time they do grow. So they're gonna need a decent amount of space in the propagation tray. So let me show you this bottom half right here are the first batch of propagations that I did with the Hua Hua Pan uh, Gigantias. As you can tell, there's some that are like medium size that are kind of like overlapping the leaves, other baby pings in here. And I know they're going to continually just get bigger. It's not sustainable for them to continually grow in this smaller section of one of my trays. And that's why I need to repot them in their own tray. I do have a second batch of propagations that I've done. So I'm going to basically show you how I'm just going to repot uh, them all together. Well, that's it for me repotting up my propagations. As you can tell, uh, please give them enough room to grow. I didn't do that in the first time in my first tray and that's kind of like a lessons learned, but that's part of growing uh, plants. No matter if you're growing a carnivorous plant or tropical plants, any kind of like house plants that you're propagating at home, that's just the way it rolls. I will uh, bottom water this tray, so then it'll look like the tray here on your left, all nice and moist, ready to go. So I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping on by. If you like videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. It definitely helps me continually grow the channel and hear what you like to kind of see uh, from my pink collection, how I'm kind of continually growing them. And I'm hoping next year, I'll be able to kind of sell them at some local events. So thanks for stopping on by and until the next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.